hope I'm helping. I hope this is the skincare routine you were looking forward to. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to the channel. If you don't know who I am, I'm Liz. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video and joining me in this little box. If you are coming back, thank you so much. I appreciate you and I'm glad you're here. I get a ton of questions about my skincare. Let me tell you about my skin. I'm like combination oily t-zone dry everywhere else i get the occasional blemish but i wouldn't say my skin is acne prone so i do use a lot of moisturizing and hydrating products because like i said my skin can be i would say it's dry but it's actually a combination oily t-zone dry everywhere else okay let's just get into the video if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below and i think that's all i have to say well okay before i start if you're wondering about this cute little set it's from kitnish if it's still available i will link it but they had a grand opening not too long ago maybe about a month or so ago here in dallas so i went and this is what i got so if I were wearing makeup right now, like if it was the end of the day and I was just coming home, uh, I always double cleanse. So I, and the, I love this stuff. So it's the Loctane, Loctane Oil to Milk Cleanser. I really love this. I just do a few pumps of this and it'll like melt your makeup off. So I first step is cleanse with this one. And then my second cleanser is the Summer my second cleanser is the Summer Fridays Amino Gel Cleanser. Okay, so since I don't have any makeup on, I'm not going to go in with the oil to milk. I'm just going to go in with this Summer Fridays Gel Cleanser. And a little bit of this goes a long way. And it doesn't foam up too much, but that's why I use this as a second cleanser. I recommend double cleansing for sure. So you could even use this to double cleanse but I just really like the oil one because it melts your makeup it doesn't really have a scent to it um, it just smells clean and it doesn't leave your skin stripped of all your moisture okay let's rinse it off I've heard that you're not supposed to wash your face in the shower because your shower water is usually like too hot and it'll burn your skin but I prefer to wash my face in the shower, but here we are. Okay, so the next step that I would usually do, um, but I self-tanned yesterday, and I self-tanned my face a little bit. I know you cannot tell, but I did. I will usually do an exfoliating, like a physical exfoliant, about once a week. And lately, I've been using this one from Good Molecules Pineapple Exfoliating Powder. That's what it looks like. Okay, another product I really love to use but I'm not going to use today because it has glycolic and hyaluronic acid and I'm actually going to be doing a photo shoot later on. So when you're using something like this, like a, a chemical exfoliant, this is a physical exfoliant and I think this is a chemical exfoliant. Don't quote me on that because I don't really know. I just do what works for my skin. So... A physical exfoliant once a week and then it's a concentrated serum this was sent to me by it cosmetics they have like it cosmetics skincare now it increases your skin sensitivity to sun so I only use this maybe once a month or twice a month this is bye bye pores which means it's going to minimize the appearance of your pores this is really good it just comes in a little dropper like this and you do like three to four drops like that all over your skin so you want to do your serums before you go in with your moisturizers there's another one I actually really like as well it's from pharmacy and it's an AHA I think like resurfacing serum that one's really good as well I did my cleanser I would have done this one with makeup, second cleanser, or just go in and do two cleanses with your Summer Fridays. Then I would have done a physical exfoliant or a chemical, just depending on 
what I'm doing. If you're doing chemical, just be careful that you're not going to be out in the sun because it can cause irritation and burn. Next up, I always go in with a toner. This is also from Good Molecules. They actually sent me like a pretty full, like full range skincare routine and it just happens that I was like out of all my products. So it couldn't have come at a better time and I needed all of this and I've been using it for about a month now and I really, really love their products. This is the Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening toner so about good molecules i know i already mentioned that they're available at ulta uh, but they are very 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 affordable they're clean and they're made in korea i do try and find clean products to use on my skin makeup wise skincare wise perfume anything if i can buy it clean and ethically made i will opt for that option just put a few drops on your cotton ball now, I used to not use toner, but you can really notice all the little like dead skin and stuff that you don't get by just washing your skin. Even though you're double cleansing, I still recommend going in with a toner. It helps also minimize the appearance of pores, and I do struggle with large pores in my T-zone area. So... I would say that's one of my skin concerns or skin issues is larger pores in my t-zone area occasional breakouts and slightly dry skin everywhere except my t-zone i think this big giant bottle of toner is 14 or 16 dollars and the packaging is amazing it says you can use am and pm it's good for sensitive skin it's really good. I really am enjoying good molecules right now. Next, like I said, you always do your serums before your moisturizers. So this is the serum I've been using. This is the Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This one also comes in a dropper. We're just going to take um, like four drops. One, two, three rub that in and you press this into the skin you can also if you don't want to be wasteful like i just was you can go in and pat the toner into your skin as well i just go in and pat this hyaluronic acid serum i think i already mentioned it but hyaluronic acid is very good for hydrating this one you can use on a daily basis because it's not going to make you sensitive to the sun it's really good for daily use make sure you're always getting your neck and really press it into the skin make sure this really sets before you go in with your moisturizer and next up once your hyaluronic acid serum has set or whatever serum you're going to be using day or night that one i think i already mentioned but it's good day and night i'm going to go in with the good molecules silicone free priming moisturizer i use this day and night this is what the moisturizer looks like i really like the fact that this one comes in a pump so i will just take about three pumps and just rub that in i always try and rub up and i do put a lot of moisturizer because if you think about it your skin is going to produce more oil if you're dry so you're going to look more oily if you put less moisturizer so the more moisturizer you put the more well balanced your skin will be that makes sense right am i making sense right now put it all on your neck here and go up to really lift the face I do rub the rest on the back of my hands because we don't only want to take care of our face but we also want to take care of our neck and hands and stay young forever finally I'm gonna go in with my under eye cream I really only use it in the daytime I use glam glow bright eyes this is the under eye cream it does a really good job of brightening the under eye i have i talk about this all the time i have very very dark under eyes so i just put a little bit on each side 
go in with your ring finger because it's the gentlest finger and your under eye or any part of not even just your under eye your eyelid everything around your eye is very sensitive and you don't want to tug or pull at it too much so i do like right here where you would typically get crow's feet i do under the eye and i go back and forth and i also do it on the eyelid and around the inner corner be careful not to get this in your eye it burns a little bit it's not gonna kill you but it's a little uncomfortable i mean people always tell me i look really young for my age but it could be all the skincare i'm doing and a final step i go in with sunscreen what i like about this sunscreen is that it has vitamin c in it it says with vitamin c rich Camu Camu from the Amazonian rainforest in Peru. It helps dull, tired, grumpy skin. So, you know, I live for the glow and I always get a lot of compliments of how my skin looks so glowy. I do my whole skincare and I go in with this sunscreen. This is the Body Shop Vitamin C sunscreen that I use. It is pretty small and I think it's $20, but a little bit of this goes a long way. It smells like vitamin c i don't know how to explain that like citrusy i guess i put this on in the mornings and i just feel awake i think part of it is the aromatherapy of that it smells citrusy yeah you want to get your neck same like your moisturizer you want to rub it up that's what i do the only pricey thing in my skincare routine is like the summer fridays cleanser but honestly it's such a big bottle and you get a lot for what you're paying and then i think the other pricey thing is my under eye cream i feel like you should invest in a really good cleanser and you should invest in a really good eye cream the rest of my skincare is so 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 affordable and it works it's clean it's made in korea it's affordable what else could you ask for it just makes you look super glowy i love wearing this especially on no makeup days all right so just to overview before i go i usually go in and double cleanse with first this la octane oil to milk cleanser i get this at ulta i actually need to go buy another one so i go in and just use this to melt all the makeup rinse it off as my second cleanser i go in with my summer fridays amino gel cleanser and then i would either do a physical exfoliant this one i've been loving from good molecules you can get this one at ulta the pineapple exfoliating powder or if i'm doing a chemical exfoliant or like a serum exfoliant like an aha or something like that instead of using this good molecules i will go in with like bye bye pores to minimize the look of my pores it has glycolic acid and hyaluronic acid the it cosmetics you can get at ulta as well then i will go in with my toner i use the good molecules niacinamide brightening toner so you can use this with your hands and pat it into your skin or do it like I did with the cotton balls. Then I will do my serum. I've been using the Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I do about four or five drops of this, press it into the skin. Then I will do my moisturizer. Lately I've been using the Good Molecules Silicone Free Priming Moisturizer. I really like this one because it's in a pump. You can get all the Good Molecules stuff at Ulta. This was sent to me, but this is not a sponsored video or an ad. I've just really been enjoying their products. Then I use the Glam Glow Bright Eyes Under Eye Cream. I get this one at Sephora. I've actually had this little jar for two or three. No, it has to be more than two months. I think I've had it three to four months already and I'm still not even running low. Finally, for the daytime, I use my vitamin c from the body shop sunscreen i did this one at ulta i really do the same routine for day and night the only thing i don't do at night time i don't do sunscreen at night i only do eye cream if i remember the chemical exfoliants i recommend for doing at night time that is all for my everyday skincare routine. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a like and make sure to subscribe. Make sure to also follow me over on my Instagram and TikTok. I post little snippets here and there of skincare that I'm liking or products that I'm liking. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!